Hey everybody, this is Paul, and today I have my two favorite dragon fruit I'd like to do a little taste test on and compare and contrast. So on the left here is a sugar dragon, and on the right is a, um, a Palora, or a Ecuador yellow Palora uh, dragon fruit, and they are wonderful. So, starting out with the sugar dragon, the S8 Paul Thompson seedling, you can see it's a winter crop, but definitely oh no bummer I'll wash that and eat it later but it's a winter crop and you can see it's a beautiful fuchsia color so this is a small one it's at the end of February and it's not at its best but the seeds are small and it's a very pleasant uh, tasting dragon fruit in my opinion so let's see how it tastes in the middle of winter There it is, Sugar Dragon. And it's great. So what I like about it is that the seeds are really mild and pleasant and they're not earthy at all. And this is definitely really sweet. Some people call it a candy dragon. So the winter fruit are not as good as summer fruit. However, in Ecuador, where these are grown, these are sweet all the time. So, the way I like to eat this, I like to cut the ends, like so, and then cut it into fourths, which I did a bad job. Okay. So, right off the bat, you can see, it has much bigger seeds. So it's a white flesh, but it's extremely sweet. It breaks scores in the low 20s, I think 20 to 22. And uh, the only bummer is the seeds are kind of more earthy and kind of taste a little bit of, I guess, for lack of a better word, kind of dirt. Tastes like dirt. Mm. So much sweeter though. Now I like the seeds. I think they're enjoyable. And I think crossing these two would be awesome. I mean, it'd be a really cool mix to cross these two and make some hybrid. So what makes this so unique or sweet, in my opinion, is that it's a yellow megalanthus and it has spines on it and they have to be brushed off. And so this also stays on the vine for about 180 days compared to a sugar dragon, which would stay on the vine in the summer for about, I don't know, late 30 to 40, 42 days or so. And uh, in the winter here, this one was, uh, the flower had been uh, pollinated on Christmas. So it sat for about 60 days. And it's, it's really sweet, it's wonderful. I'd give it a eight or seven out of 10, but this one I give a nine or a 10 out of 10. So definitely the yellow pelora is an amazing fruit. really enjoyable it's really easy to propagate from seed the last one I found I grew about uh, two dozen seedlings and I have some currently grafted to rootstock and these seeds were extremely extremely easy to propagate you just want to kind of clean off as much flesh as you can put them on a piece of toilet paper and then into some high quality soil now also you can see this one started to sprout so that's another uh, common feature with yellow dragon fruit is that the seeds will start to sprout. I don't know if you saw the little sprout starting to form on there, but it's there. So anyways, you can see the difference between these two wonderful dragon fruit and they're both extremely sweet, but this is the sweetest dragon fruit that I've ever tasted and they continue to never disappoint me. When I find them in the stores, I always buy a few. All right. Give us a like and a subscribe. We'll keep them coming. Bye. All right, take care.